It didn't seem like the, the right time Saturday, so I'll ask you about it now. That play that we called the updated version of the Statue of Liberty or uh-huh. whatever. What, what do you guys call that, and what, how long have you guys been, been working on that thing? Uh, we just called it Statue, and we just put it in that week, that that right? last week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is that fun when they kind of add some of that kind of stuff in when you're going through kind of the monotony of game plan when they, when they throw some stuff like that in for you guys? Well, our, yeah, our game plan is different every week. It mm-hmm. um, doesn't get too monotonous, so... It's, yeah, we, we have new stuff every week, and it's usually dictated towards whatever we think the defense is going to do against us that Saturday. Mm-hmm. Did you have an idea going into the game that you guys would, would actually use it, or did it take kind of a perfect scenario to, to make it work? Yeah, I knew it was going to be uh, – I knew, I knew it was going to be called before because uh, that was our plan. It was, we were going to call it third down and goal um, at a certain point in the game, and I knew right after that second down we missed on the uh, – I think it was a throw to Vic. Mm-hmm. Um, I knew the play was going to get called, so I was pretty excited. How soon, before, or how how close to the game did you know that you were going to be able you were going to be able to play? Uh, I knew Monday. We I, I knew like Saturday of Washington State. Like I was good to go. Yeah. Obviously, you guys don't want to convert that two point at the end, but just the fact that your coach said, "Look, we're going for it now. We're going to try to win now." Yeah. How was that received on the team? You know what I mean? I would think guys would be juiced by it. Like, he believes we can get this mm-hmm. done now and not have to go into it. I think it was just a good strategic decision because you're going to have to, we're going to go back out. If we kick a, a PAT, we're going to have to go back out, score again, and then have to go for two. Right. So we just had the chance to go for two and win it right there. You ran, it racked up a ton of your yards after you stayed down on the sideline mm-hmm. for a little bit there. Yeah. How quickly were you able to kind of get your win back and, and get back out there and, and feel good? By the time I had walked all the way across the field, I was yeah. good to go. Like I, I got to the, the sideline and said, hey, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Uh, it just took me a while to get my breath back. Sure. What happened? They just hit, they just I think hit he just, just hit me in the square. sternum. Yeah, it was just a really good hit. If you look on film, he just came down hard and um, just hit me in a spot that took away my breath for about 20 seconds. and. Uh, yeah, so just had to take some time to get my breath back. Matt hit a hit a big 52 yarder mm-hmm. there to, to tie it up in the regulation. Yeah. Um, how much confidence do you guys as a team have in him to, to make those kind of kicks? Yeah, I've seen him hit a hit a bunch of clutch kicks. Um, so yeah, I'm just you know I have trust in him like all my teammates, and it's uh it's it's awesome to see when your when your kicker can knock one down like that. Mm-hmm. Do you guys as a as a team take it? He's closing in on the all-time school scoring mm-hmm. record. As a team, do you take some pride in that? That um, It's been a lot of what the offense has been able to do to put yeah. him in those positions. Um, I, I mean, that's that's like a career thing for him. Um, but I think for me personally, I don't, I don't know if I speak for everyone, but I, I love when I see my teammates accomplish something like that. So I, it's it's cool for me to see. Um, but yeah, it's a, that's a great accomplishment. You and Matt are both intellectual guys. Obviously, we, 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 we've done that to death with you. Uh, yeah. He's in graduate school. Do you guys ever uh, study together uh, or, or talk about uh, current events or, or whatnot? Or? Uh, I mean, yeah, I talk to him just like I talk to everyone about different things. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we're both studying business. And so I'll, you know, pick his brain. Hey, what's this professor like? Um, what should I do in this class to get a good grade? Because he's kind of – he's a year ahead of me in the business program, and or he already finished. So – um, he was a, definitely a good resource when I was applying to the school and then after I got in. Specialists sometimes can, can be off on their own on, a, on another field. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's, from my sense, from an outsider, it seems like you guys respect him as a, as a teammate, as a football yeah. player. Am, am I getting that right? Yeah, I mean, I think I respect everyone on the team. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think all my teammates do as well. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you guys know this, but like they go through all the conditioning and all the yep. speed training that we do. Um, which is you know kind of insane because at the end of the day they're, he's just kicking, but he's still doing all the all the sprints that I'm doing. So uh, there's a respect level there. And then obviously if you know they're just a good football player, you know they're still football players. Uh, they have you know a specific job that they do, and if they're good at it, you have respect uh, at any level. Yeah. Obviously, you got enough to to study up this week on mm-hmm. Colorado's defense. Yeah. But when you're going up against a, another team that has a running back like they do, do you sneak a peek at, at that film at all? Like, do you pay attention to what I, Lindsay's doing? I don't watch the week of, mm-hmm. but when we're watching studying tape for you know other opponents, so I saw Philip Lindsay yeah. before. Um, I really liked how he plays. So yeah, number 23. Yeah. He's, he's my old high school number. But uh, yeah, okay. he, he's he's a really good back, and I think he had like 41 carries a couple weeks ago. So you know, any any back that can have that many carries is definitely a, a guy you have to respect. And speaking of uh, having a lot of carries, it was your career high mm-hmm. uh, the other day. How did you feel after the game? Were you, were you still 
upright? And did you? I feel good. I feel really good today. I was running around full speed. Um, yeah, I'm not What's it like too to bad. go from zero to career high, uh, not playing for a week, and then all right, we're we're going to ask you to carry it, you know, thirty times a game. What uh, did, did at any point other than when you got the wind knocked out of you? Did, yeah. you, did you feel winded at all? No, I didn't. Not at all. Um, I think you know our coaches do a good job of either rotating us during the game, and then also <clears throat> the way we practice, the way we condition over the summer. Um, I never, I never feel tired during the games. You guys haven't haven't won a, a Pac-12 road game in a while. What, what makes traveling in this conference so difficult? Um, you know, I just think every you know every every team in the conference is good. Every, um, but yeah, we don't really pay attention to the whatever streak that people talk about. It's a, uh, it's a game. You know, it's a week by week thing. Just want to win this game this week, and that's really the main focus. I was going to ask about that because you guys have won some bowl games. You've mm-hmm. gone to other continents and won. You, you know, right. you beat UNC in Texas. So it's not like you can't travel. It's just been kind of random almost that it's it's this string of in conference games. Yeah, I mean, I I don't know much about you know the streaks and all that. Um, I just know this team this year. Uh, we have confidence in ourselves that we're going to go and get a win in Colorado this weekend. Has Coach, Coach Wilcox and his staff done anything different on road trips to change how you guys approach it or to get you guys there early? I don't know. I don't know what he would do, but um, nothing different. I mean, you know, whether we're in Berkeley or a different town, um, playing away, we go to a hotel the night before, so it's it's the same routine whether we're home or away, and so there, there's no difference. Thanks, Pat. Yeah, thank you.